So I'm looking at a 2008 Polaris Sportsman uh, front diff. I have it all apart now. Um, this is basically your gear and the carrier for those roller bearings that everybody talks about. This one looks in pretty good shape. I mean, it slides in and out. You probably don't want to just pop it out because all those little bearings will fall out. It looks in pretty good shape. And we're going to lube up everything before we assemble. Um, here's your coil that engages everything. Um, these are the wires for it right here. If you have uh, a hill descent control unit, um, there's your coil in here for that, behind that cover. Um, so everything slides into there. What happens is this is your clutches right here, and you have an equal set. Uh, you have your bearing and your clutch pack which spins freely, I'm going to try to demonstrate, spins freely until you apply pressure right here, which that electromagnet does. There's another one that goes on this side, which we have over there. We're going to take apart and put it on that side. All this stuff kind of slips in here, as you see, and it goes right inside those rollers. So make sure you clean everything. Let's say this would be your bottom because it's going to mesh the gear. Uh, these are identical on both left and right side, so you can pop them right in, as you see right there. But what's important is that you actually get these guys right here. Those pins have to line up with those little guys right there. And when you assemble, that should sit like that, right? Make sure you're not countering that little hole like that you'll never press it together or push it back together uh, and it will spin so that that's actually what those little pins is what actually holds your forward drive and that's about it and then the clutches so if those shear off you don't have four-wheel drive okay I'll try to help you out that way and then obviously you see the other side these little guys that sit right here are the ones that are gonna hold the other side okay And then that clutch pack, once you have it all adjusted, sl slips on from that side. And the cover goes back together. Hopefully that helps you guys. Um, that's all you have there is for a hub. And then the clutch pack sits on here. Um, this is a bushing that gets, those two pieces should slide together. Uh, mine really didn't press together, so uh, should be okay. All right.